Are you Team Kirin 9000 or Team Snapdragon 888? Please indicate below and also remember to hit the subscribe button and turn on the post notification for more chipset comparison. So welcome to the Kirin 9000 vs Snapdragon 888 full comparison. These two chipsets are built on 5 nanometer process with lots of optimization. Their gimbal scores were almost at each other's neck, with the Kirin 9000 slightly winning the multi-core scores while the Snapdragon 888 had the highest single-core scores. On the CPU construction, both chips have three cluster octa-core CPU architect, but the Snapdragon 888 seems to be the favorite here. For the first time, a chip will be using three different CPU cores, a single powerhouse Cortex S1 clocked at 2.84 GHz frequency, while right below that sits three big Cortex A78 cores with 2.4 GHz frequency. Finally is the low power Cortex A55 cores hitting 1.84 GHz frequency. Here between these two, the Snapdragon 888 is benefiting from the newer high-end Cortex S1 and Cortex A78, while Huawei uses a last-gen Cortex A77. So there's a lot to expect from the Snapdragon 888 next-gen performance. When it comes to GPU, graphics and gaming performance may be a much closer contest between these two. The Snapdragon 888 uses the Arduino C60 and it promises a huge 35% boost to graphics performance when compared to its predecessor. Huawei on the other hand is also making big claims of GPU gains. According to Huawei, the Kirin's 9000's ARM Mali G78 GPU with 24 cores is 52% better than last year's Snapdragon 865. Again, those are big claims made by these two chipset companies. But assuming these numbers hold up in real life gaming, both chipsets will be a rocket fire. But again, to enjoy this also depends on the display refresh rate that these two smartphones of these two chipset supports. The Snapdragon 888 supports up to 144 Hz refresh rate, but the Kirin chipset fails to meet up to that. The more reason why best game performance might likely come from the Snapdragon 888. When it comes to artificial intelligence and machine learning, the Snapdragon 888 is far ahead. It can boost up 26 tera operation per seconds of AI compute. That is 73% increase from the Snapdragon 865 15 tera operation per seconds. The Huawei's AI may be good, but it's still behind the Qualcomm Snapdragon 888 artificial intelligence system. 5G networking is another key battleground for flagship tier products, and here both the Snapdragon 888 and Q9000 feature an integrated modem for improved energy efficiency and a smaller footprint. These two also offer some newer 5G features like the TDD and FDD. Other comparison between these two chipsets are as follows. Thank you.